All right, guys, Kilo Whiskey back here again for Stay Out Tutorial Part 2 Update, whatever gameplay, you get the point. Uh, so, any new players looking to get into this game, uh, I've done this before, and the update has come out and just took a wrecking ball to pretty much everything that I've done then. So, any past videos with the exception of... Uh, the first tutorial is kind of irrelevant at this point because uh, they changed the entire quest process, so we're going to redo it. Uh, word of warning, it's going to be... I'm going to try and fast forward through what I can, but it's it's a lot longer than it used to be. Uh, the quest line that you have to do to get out of the city, uh, there was three or four quests uh, we could get out of here, but... Um, They've stretched it out a little bit longer. They got rid of the uh, assets patrol quest, and they ended up turning it into inspecting jammers along the way. But you get a free SKS, so give and take, I guess. Uh, right, we're right where we left off last time, so uh, let's see here. Nothing's changed. Your knife they give you will despawn, so I'm going to... Equip our crappy jackknife. Uh, let's see. They actually gave us more ammo. So, normally I would have to buy some ammo in the first tutorial, but they, they give you a tiny amount. We're going to come up here to Mr. Asset. We're going to talk to him. And I already know what he says. You can uh, read through his dialogue at your leisure, but uh, I'm just going to skip through it. Uh, is that all his dialogue? Yeah. Okay. And we're just repeating dialogue. So we're gonna hit J, we're gonna open up our quest. Let me check K real quick. So we're- wow, we got three points. Uh, increased sprint speed. Let's go ahead and learn that. Uh, maximum weight carry. We don't really carry anything right now, so... But I do need it to unlock this too. Really, what is it? I have one point. Okay. We'll throw it in health. Okay, so he's going to want us and, you know, so this whole thing's been changed, uh, changed around. We just need to complete chapter one to get out. But uh, you'll see little side quests, so it's kind of hard to make out here. But the main quest is like these little yellow boxes, and then you'll see side quests pop up, and then I guess they call them, uh, you, you have the parent quest, and then like a side quest. You don't have to, you just have to follow the main quest line in chapter one to get out. So we're gonna find Mark and train, uh, and then go to the commander's office. When we come in, there's NPCs around here you can talk to, medical vendor, a bar guy that buys some stuff and you can get some food off of him. The warehouse guy we're going to go into in just a second. And then there is a weapon dealer and a tailor down there. The weapon dealer you can buy and uh, well, everybody usually buys stuff. Sometimes the weapon dealer might pay more for ammo than other people, but he'll give you personal credits towards things. Uh, the, the clothing guy, he's going to repair stuff for you and you'll figure it out. Over here at the vault, you're going to use this thing a lot. It's storage. So let's say I got, uh, I don't know, I want to keep this lead for later, but I don't want it weighing my character down. So I can throw it in here and it'll stay in here. You got up to a thousand slots for this thing. And this is Station Stockman. Uh, you can search for individual items, but if I click on this, every warehouse guy I go to will show up. So if I want to mail something between warehouse guys, let's say I want to... Uh, I'm doing a quest here at the station, but I got uh, some stuff I need, and it's at Sergey the Smuggler. Then I can click on Sergey the Smuggler. It will show what is in my warehouse there. I can come over here to Postages. I can click on this. And click on create postage and then uh, I can send stuff to other players I can specify what warehouse I can send money if I want to 
If I click to me, it's going to throw my name into the uh, into the slot, and then I can mail items to myself. So if I go over here, let's just select a different warehouseman, uh, and then I could put. I'm at the the station right now, so to me, uh, to the station stockman. And if I'm looking over here, and this is uh, uh, a different warehouse, like Sergey or Hunter Stockman or something like that, I could drag the item, throw it into this, and then when I hit send, um, well, yeah, I can't show you the prices because I don't have anything else unlocked. But he'll give you three price options, the basic, the premium, and then the uh, the premium, I guess. If you have a uh, premium, that little gold star stuff you the, buy off the cash market, you get uh, 15 minutes pretty much anywhere you go and reduce prices. So shipping stuff is cheaper. Uh, it helps. Let's say I have uh, I'm doing a, some quests here and I got a bunch of money. I can. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's a quest line. They moved the board. It was out back. Now it's out front. So if I come up to the board here, and let's say I got some money. I want to buy a new gun off another player. Off This this is the in-game player market. So this billboard right here, if you see one, you can come up to it, click on to it. You can specify different items over here. Well, you, you know, by category, exclude category. You can search for it by... Just typing in the name. So if I type in rats, you'll see roast rats pop up. It's kind of funny that they're still selling these for money since they're getting removed from the game, but that's for a future video. Uh, yeah, so if I come over here, unselect, and I just want to see pistols, I'll hit pistols. And then this Tokarev, let's say I want to buy this specific Tokarev, we can see that. Here it is. I can click on it. I can view the info, look at its stats. This is how much it costs. And then here, Gourmet's Kitchen Stockman. That's where it's at. So if I buy it, it's going to be at Gourmet's uh, location. And then I can mail it to myself using this. The board goes off of cost. So if we can see, there's a bunch of different... Uh, actually, this wouldn't be... Probably the best. Let me do like something like if I type in so for like modification tickets, you can see well this one's four hundred and forty for one, and this one's three ninety for one. But then we got like two million, but he only wants three fifty a piece. So things are category or listed per what the uh, cost per item is on this board. Also in, in the board is we have different quests. We can do bounty hunting quests. So these are different players. I got a bounty on them. Most of these people are dicks. Well, let me rephrase that. Uh, they could have got karma bombed, which is a thing where uh, a person not in a clan keeps antagonizing one of these individuals until this individual kills them. And if you kill a neutral player enough, every time you kill them, you get negative karma. And once you get enough negative karma, when uh, this player kills somebody and they have a lot of negative karma, a bounty can be placed on their head by the person that was killed. And over here, we can see how much the bounty is. Now, a lot of people use this feature to track individuals, because if I was to click on one of these guys, and uh, over, well, over here, and take the bounty... It's going to show me, you know, this, what map he's in, if he's online or offline, uh, the time remaining on the bounty. But if I open up my in-game map, it'll actually show a red dot moving around on the map. And that's the person that the bounty's on. So you can go out and bounty hunt if that's your thing. PvP board, it's currently up. Seven seasons currently running. So if you see this little green dot right here, that indicates... It's a ranked match. I could join Team Deathmatch or Deathmatch, but I'm not going to get any points towards the ranking system. I would need to join the one with the green dot in order to get those points. You can check out the ratings over here. Uh, 
and every time you go up in a rating you get XP points and you get uh, you know cash rewards a bunch of different things uh, if you see this top 10 don't really worry about it it doesn't necessarily mean any of these people are PvP like Jesus uh, it could just be that they're simply playing more than anybody else because it goes off of kills the, every time you kill somebody, you get points. So if I come over here, I can see uh, like the guy in first place. He's got 2,390 kills and 1,370 deaths. And you can look through some of these and you'll... not. Uh, here's a good one. So whoever this Russian guy is, he's got 717 kills and he's died 1,000 times. So... Uh, he must have been on a winning team of, you know, what is that? He hasn't left any matches. He's won eight. Wait. Wins eight matches. Rating points 817. Games played 43. So that makes sense. Uh, boosting in this game is a bannable offense. Your whole account will get. And what boosting is, is. Uh, if you just you and a friend decide to join a ranked match and he's on a different team, and you guys do the old modern warfare, you know, try to hide in a corner and knife each other up to a nuke. If you do that in here and somebody catches you and reports you, it's a bannable offense. But they got to get a, uh, I believe they need a YouTube video of you doing it or something like that. But don't do it. It's not uh, you're a dick and it's not smart. I mean, people that try to brag about that PvP board anyway, a lot of the top chads in the game won't even uh, fight on the PvP board. So, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Services. This guy will clean your guns, repair your guns. Uh, same thing with this. If we come to the clothing dealer, he's going to repair our stuff. We can buy stuff from him, personal credit. So... We have to work for people at the station in order to get station people points. So the more quests I do here, the more points I'll get. And I can keep repeating quests, get points to then buy items with money. It's kind of stupid, I know. Uh, nobody likes this personal credit system. We all hate it. But it, it, we'll see how much better the new system is than the old ones. Because I got to work to earn money to buy an item, but I, then I also have to specifically work for this vendor or vendors here at the station to get credit points with them. And you'll see like this item, I can't just buy this shotgun. He wants 21,000 for it. I have to get 240 personal credits by doing quests here at the station. And when I buy that, uh, if I do get 240, and I buy it from him, this then goes to zero because it doesn't just build up. They get, they get used. So you can see magazines here are 80 credits. And then the gun is 200 credits. It's really difficult to... You know, it's very time-consuming and grindy doing repeated quests. But I guess, you know, it's an MMO, so... Uh, I, you know, old school MMO where you gotta constantly grind and repeat quests and do the same repetitive shit over and over. I don't know why they think people think that's fun, but warehouse guy, him, got the quest. Let's go do... Let's get the first part. Uh, we're gonna head first to the commander's office, which is here. It's kind of interesting. So it shows me where these people are and I have not interacted with them yet. Uh, so I guess that's a new helpful tip that they put in to try to help find these people. But this is Mark, and this is uh, two other people we're going to need to see. So let's go ahead and fast forward to that. Alright, so... Now that we're here at the police station, or the commandant's office, or whatever, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna talk to Mr. Geek. Oh, 
Oh, almost just had a negligent discharge. That would have been bad. He would have probably shot me in the face. Okay. Now that we've talked to him, there's some other quests you can do here, too. There's a scientist down here. And you can talk to uh, Mr. Valentine and the guy in the office behind him about doing the vaccine quest. Talking to Commander, he's going to want me to... Mr. Geek wants me to go to three checkpoints and collect the reports. So this is checkpoint number three, checkpoint number two, and checkpoint number one. We're going to run to these three locations and get the reports for the commander. Uh, a, a quick quest, a little side quest we can do, kind of, if you want to get some... I'll just throw it in here since it's so quick. Suspicious noise, you talk to... And for this quest, it's pretty easy. We're literally just going to run through this hole in the fence over here. Into the woods, like back here, kind of. There's a boar back here making suspicious noises. Once you see the green text, just turn around and go back. That's it. Quest complete. Well, and need to talk to you. Look at that, leveled up. I got 2,000 rubles and 2,600 points for just walking over there and walking back. Okay, we're going to run down here to checkpoint three. Geek sent me. They're not going to let you outside of the city unless you complete all these quests. I don't know if I've said that before, but if you're watching this video, you probably already know that. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to wait right here for my stamina to build up. And uh, once I get full stamina, then I'm going to continue to run down this hallway here. Hallway, but alleyway, street, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and eat something too while I'm waiting for that to build up. Normally when you're, you don't have to run all the way down. There's a hole in this fence right here and there. If you cut through that hole and just come over here to the culture house, then uh, you can lose those dogs. I'm just trying to conserve ammo. I mean, yeah, you do get XP for killing the mobs, but... Uh, let's see. The old coon is right here. Oh, that the side quest at the station where you gotta take the pass package to stick. And then he stick redirects you to that guy right there. That was a little side quest I just quickly did. Now let's go hit checkpoint one and two. Huh, okay. So that's number three. This is number one, and this is number two. Didn't know that. I figured they would have put him in order, but whatever. Geek sent me. Hello, Geek sent me. See you. Uh, this right here, while I'm here, let me just point it out to you. This thing is a jammer that's supposed to, like, scare away certain types of mobs. And this little panel is, uh, the control panel. It's gonna be... You're gonna need to inspect 17 of those for a future quest. Well, part of the quest that we're about to do. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go over to Mark, so we're just gonna fast forward through this. Okay, here we are at Mr. Mark. I had to make a slight detour to buy some bottles of water. This is not... <laughs> this is Mark. Could be better. So first he wants me to go to the old warehouse. 
Which is right here. Oh, that's awesome. They, it actually shows up with a yellow circle on the map. Okay, so now we're going to talk to Mr. Ivan. I don't know why everybody's talking to him. Let me try to hurry up and get in here before these other people. Dang it. I've already begun killing dogs. It gets kind of competitive in here because there's so many people and there's so few dogs. I need to kill 10 dogs, so if I actually hit J... And I get right here, and I hit tracking. I can have this quest highlighted. And we can see that I have killed one of the ten dogs. I am missed like a motherfucker. No go on the double tap. Ugh, slugs. You know, I had a round in the chamber, but I chose to reload for some reason. Oh, six out of ten dogs. Really? I hate their glitchy movement. I think I'm out of shells now. It's it's like that... You need to smooth that out. They're just so glitchy how they move. Now, the five boxes that we have to collect, it's a nice touch. They actually disappear now to show you that you've collected them. But usually they've used to, you know, they, they're usually always here. Here's another box. And now we're looking for a can of stew for that... Or a box of stew. It's a side quest for the guy at the culture house. If you don't take the quest, you don't need to find it, but... Then we also look around for stashes. You just never know. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a stash. Don't see any. So there's two crates in this warehouse, two crates in this warehouse, and one over behind that red shipping container. Here's our next crate. I'm looking for... No luck on stashes. Oh, here we go. This. I feel like I'm about to be attacked by a dog. Yay! I actually got some stuff. What do you hear, dog? Yeah, I know. I should med. Okay. Still have not found that crate of stew for that NPC at the House of Culture. I also gotta kill three rats, but... And there's a well here, too, if you need water. Go dr grab a drink as I'm getting it shot by a rat. I think the rats are kind of overly aggressive. <laughs> Check in here, maybe the box of stew is in here. No. My dog. Aha, I got the kill. Uh 
Uh, there's nothing up here. Alright, I'm gonna go grab this crate. You know, the... I've killed all the dogs that I need. Just gotta get this last crate, which should be right there. There's... Really? Okay. Final crate. Just need to shoot one more rat. I hear a dog. I guess I should reload, right? Huh, there's a rat. What? There you go. Ow! Alrighty, now we just go back to Mark. Okay, next quest. We gotta run two laps. I have a feeling that that individual right there uh, used the glitch to get out of the city. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've talked about this glitch where you can uh, jump through past an, a bandit NPC and you can bypass this whole thing that we're doing to get out of the city like you can make a new character once you get to the city you do like an alt f4 jump through a doorway and you can bypass doing all of these quests to get your character out of the city if you just want to make an alt and get into the zone as fast as possible and I'm trying to yeah, just timing this mob I'm, okay well taking the dog for a walk apparently let my stamina build up. He's not really making that much gain on me. Sled my stamina build up. Okay, let's hit the stamina. Ow, really? Now, see, this is a problem because I'm bleeding, so I'm gonna. I've noticed sometimes when you're bleeding, if you continue to sprint without using a bandage your bleeding will actually get worse. That's fine. Okay, first lap complete. Not much ammo left. I haven't bought any ammo or... I mean, I bought four bottles of water, but that's all I've done so far. Alright, let's do the second lap. I'm just going to fast forward through this. Alright, pick it up where I left off. This is actually the next day, for me anyway. My wife came home and I got pretty busy, so... We're going to continue on with our quest to get this character out of the first city. Uh, 
So I finished his quest for running around. We did that. Uh, I don't know why the outpost is still showing up because we finished that, didn't we? Alright. Let's go talk to Mr. Geek. We did the warehouse. We made our two laps. We talked to people there. We didn't have to do his quest, but we did it anyway. My allergies are killing me. Okay. I guess about the post. Wall appeared. Mutants not yet. Stick. Okay. All right, let's go downstairs and talk to this guy again. He's going to tell us like a horror story about the zone. All right, let's go back and talk to Mr. Geek. All right, so... Let's see. Updated. Administration. 2000. Uh, let's see. Test from acid. Did I get the SKS yet? No, but I got some other stuff. So this should be the part where we get the free SKS. Let me just go ahead and reload while I'm here. Really haven't bought anything. As my dogs are up going absolutely nuts right now. I don't know if you can hear them or not. All right. German shepherds are just uh really mouthy. <laughs> All right, now we're back to now we're back to Mr. Asset. Uh, completed Mark's training. I got the main idea. Probably notice the jammers. Yeah, what are those jammers for? Understand it. I am ready. The sooner I start, the sooner I finish. I have a lot of things to do. I am listening. Yada yada yada. Okay, so inventory. Still don't have the SKS yet. Um, now he's. I have to go over and talk to the weapon dealer. Let me just go ahead here and unequip my revolver. So, Acid asked me to come for a TT. And, okay, it looks like we got that. Yeah, I'm just gonna say yes, but... And then we're gonna exchange. Will you exchange something for... So we're gonna give him our crappy revolver. There we go. Firm. All right, so to, by giving him our old revolver, we get two magazines. Let's go ahead and equip that pistol. Thirty-four rounds. So what, I gotta complete this quest before I get the SKS? Is that how this works? Alright, whatever.
Go ahead and get rid of some junk. Alright. And refill that water while I'm doing the jammer quest, I guess. Now, the jammers, you're gonna find these guys. Here's the jammer quest. Let's go ahead and pin that. Okay, kill 10 dogs. So I gotta kill 10 dogs for the commandant, the commander, and then check on the jammers. And once we do these two things, we should be able to get out of the city. Uh, I should have made, went in the paint shop and made a map of all the jammer locations. But, uh, they're gonna be spread kind of around the entire perimeter, so if we start here at the station we can just go in a clockwise or counterclockwise pattern we should hit them all, and you'll see them just start disappearing over there and while we're at it, we can kill ten dogs, so here we got a jammer we're gonna click on it, we need to get seventeen of these so there's our first jammer there's another one down that way, but we're just gonna... I guess I'll go counterclockwise. Here's our next jammer. So our first one's right out back of the station. Second one here is also just behind the station. Once we get this one... The next jammer should be down this road. To the right. And there's our next one. I kinda have them memorized. Is that wood spawned on the roof? Okay. It would have been too easy if you could just follow the power wire to the jamming stations. Next jammer down. Alright, next jammer. And, like I you know, was talking before, we're just going to continue in this path down the road. As I collect these, uh, once I collect all the parts, I'm going to have to take them to the technician, which is marked on the map by this orange circle, because I have the, uh, the quest up. Next jammer. What? Okay. This is not one of the jammers we need, I guess. in this corner right yep <laughs> 
So as you can see, we just kind of follow this outer road around, hit the different checkpoints. We're going to do the same thing when it come this way and then start working our way down, hitting these. Next jammer. So you can see this guy's right here in front of the gate. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting I need uh, to butcher a few more dogs. Right, right here. Front of the police station. I know it's getting dark. All right, let me just hit that one while we're here. There's one right in front of Mark. So around here, we're going to hit this one. I think there's another one at the next intersection, and then we got to jump back over. Our next jammer. It's like it's right over here. I mean, if you go on the wiki, you can find. I'm sure there's a map showing all the grid coordinates. I think a paint shop map would be easier for players. So we're right over here behind the warehouse. All right. You don't need to go across the bridge. It just felt like doing it. Okay. One more jammer. Now, our final jammer should be over here on the train platform. And why can't we climb that? That's dumb. I thought it was down that way more, but... I hope... Wait a minute. Yeah, I did get this one. Because that was the first one I got. Uh-oh. Okay. Really, rats? Uh, inspect the jammer in D44 east of the garages. Man, that's the one I got stuck on last time. I always forget this one. D4... Grid 4, east of the garages. Ah, crap. That's that one that's like, uh... Wait, D4-4, east of the... It's, it's like right here. Okay, so I thought I got that one. We literally ran right past it. Okay. Uh, fast forward. Alright, so we're here. When it says D44 east of the garages, they're talking about these little storage sheds right here. So as you can see, this, this is where it is. I'll show you on the map. Yep, right, right there. This is our last jammer. And now we should be done after I kill, like, three more dogs.
Okay, still no SKS. Back to acid. Okay, now we're back here at Mr. Acid. As you can see, we still don't have the free SKS. So, let's see. I have some questions for you. I need gear. Which way? Ah, crap. My mistake. We need to go and talk to... This guy first. The technician. Uh, once we talk to the technician, then we come back to Acid. My mistake. Okay, we're here at the repair guy. Okay, the technician. MGD anomalies. Okay. Yeah, got it. Jammer. Okay, so I need to go see the. I just want to see what he's got for sale. Could buy a hunt, uh, kitchen knife off of him. It won't buy any of my crap. Okay, back to Mr. Asset we go. back here at the station everything should be complete give me my damn gun I need gear which way other ways one more question oh come on it said go back and talk to acid <sighs> Alex special assignment come on Okay, to Mr. Alex. Okay, one year later. Now we're back here at the commander's office. Let's go over here and talk to Alex. Okay, good afternoon. Geek told me to come talk to you. I got it. I am here. Information. Uh, yeah, I know about all this. Okay. Okay, see you around. Yay! Okay, so he actually gives us the SKS. All right, now we got the SKS. Let me check. Uh, sciences, carry out, courier delivery. All right, I think that's it. Now that we got our they gave us our SKS. We should be able to get out of here now. Let's run over here to the gate. I know I gotta give the dog tails to this guy here at gate three. Like, I, I still have them, so I'm like, okay. I need to go outside the gate. Ah, okay, there we go. We're done. And away we go.
Oddly enough, I still have Tails for Trapper. Alright, well, we're outside. Here we are. The new first map section of the zone. We did it, and it only took us 15 hours. That's what it felt like anyway. But, uh, so if you want to 74U, I would also recommend going and doing the quest over at the House of Culture. Sorry, if you, uh, if you do the quest at the House of Culture, you can meet Mr. Shank. He's, uh, where's he at? He's in an underground tunnel right here. You go down there, you talk to the bandits, you can buy an AK-74U off of them. But you gotta do a bunch of quests for them first. But yeah, so that's it. We're pretty much done. We've uh, we've gotten out. I gotta figure out where these tails go to collect bit by bit. No. I don't know. Somebody gets these tails. I thought it was this guy right here. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Unless the quest item is glitched. Yeah, I don't see the, uh... Being so mean over there. Yeah, see, we talked to him already. I don't know. We're done, so... That's that. Screw it. Have a nice day, guys. That's how you get out of the city. Uh, hope that helped. Um... If there's anything else, you know, let me know. I'm going to be doing some other quests. I'm going to start checking out and see what other changes there are. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.